Hey, what's up, guys? It's Felix here. Today gonna be my first video on a YouTube channel, and uh, I'm so excited. Today I'm gonna install the steering wheel. It's not a racing steering wheel, so actually it's a carbon fiber. Today is my first time to install that, so I have no idea what's gonna happen. So hopefully, fingers crossed, everything goes well. But this, I will really careful for that, cause that's not the thing I want to mess up. If there's something happen, it is costly fix. I will try my best and uh, try to be careful, don't mess anything. And uh, yeah. That's so the first thing right here, you really don't want the airbag doing some stupid things. So the first thing, remember, take off the connection on the battery. So next thing gonna be a flat high screwdriver to take off the airbag. For my car is a 2019 GTA 6. So maybe there's something a little bit different. So I'm, I'm trying to find out where the hole is. Finally I found out we should, we should take off the plastic. You are able to see there's something right here. You just use a screwdriver right here and then pop and uh, airbag pop it up. Yeah. yeah, and then right here it's the same. Minutes. Trying to figure out how to pop it up. It's not that hard, but it's if you know where is it. Here, one, two, three. Cause my car is a little bit different. It's 2019, so it's not like oh, there's three holes and you can just use flat head to pop it up. It's not that easy. I don't know why. For this kind of version, it's just so hard to move it. Now we can go to the third steps. Use a. Uh, 17 millimeters to remove the middle nuts. Oh, okay, yeah. Don't remove the nuts entirely because you don't want to smash on your face. Another thing to mention is be careful for the clock spring. Otherwise, it's gonna be a costly fix. <laughs> Alright, steering wheel is coming off right now. It's a uh, 70 millimeter balls and uh, be careful for the spring clocks. And uh, luckily I didn't destroy or make any problem on that. So you don't have to use force like that front and back. Maybe try to maybe shaking and it's gonna come, come off easy. Next thing right now is to transfer all the components from the steering wheel to that steering wheel. So I'm gonna do it now here on another car. Let's go.
and uh, put it back. Uh, 17 millimeter knots. And, uh, okay. Thank you, assistant. So next step we're gonna be put those connection back on the car. So where it came from and then put it back. With enough force and try that. I just recognized that there's a huge thing I forgot to remove on the OEM steering wheel that's the two little arrow things to hold up the airbag so if you ever forgot that part that's gonna be a problem like me I have to redo everything I have done right now to in order to put this thing back on the steering wheel so I will try my best to quickly finish this up and I can show you guys what's exactly look at looks like right now on my car so let's do it a few moments later i just tested it. it's those electronic stuff if it's working the cruise control and uh, the volume buttons and uh, yeah actually only these two and uh, the horn i pressed it it's working so for the electronic stuff, it is all good. Oh, there's a GD350. Yeah, everything is good. So right now, I'm just giving it a test drive to see how it feels. But visually, I love it. I love how the rest drop on the top and uh, the sweet bar on the side and the bottom and uh, the carbon fiber matches my gear and my carbon fiber e-brake so i love how it looks right now maybe that's one day i'm gonna switch the whole interior to a race car maybe that's one day i'm gonna do it but not right now not yet because still even i'm not always telling people that this is this is a car i'm daily driving but it still, there's a lot of chance I have to drive it to take some photos or drive somewhere, get into a show or something like a car meet, something. So I drive it a lot. That's why I'm not prefer to put a race car steering wheel. On it. If you put a steering, race car steering wheels, you're gonna sacrifice the cruise control and the, those convenient setups. So. So far, I like it. I love it. And uh, I'm, right now, you see, I'm driving it, and I feel wow, good. <laughs> Just I, I, I'm, I'm kind of like I can't find a word to just describe how I feel right now. Oh my god, my fault. Uh, but I just love it. If there's any happen, anything happen on me. Still, I will tell you guys. So, hopefully, you guys enjoy this video. Now, hopefully, you guys enjoying this video. And uh, please give me a thumbs up. And uh, if you like me, give me a follow on both Instagram and uh, YouTube channel. Please, uh, please smash the subscribe button and uh, smash the follow button on the YouTube and the Instagram.